Sometimes you have to stop at the red light. I know. I mean, we have uh, we have Jigglypuff versus Fox. Just for an example, Fox is a very go fast character. Jigglypuff is a very slow down, take it easy character. And Fox wants to go fast, but he can't. He has to slow himself down, and um, mm -hmm. he has to just be around the pace of the Jigglypuff, not caught up in it. Because if he's playing at his own rhythm and he keeps it consistent, Puff is going to kick him. He's going to jump into the back air, di down, be in a bad spot, like. When you see the successful foxes versus Puff, they are fast when they need to dodge, but then they are willing to stay in their shield and play with much slower pace. Wave dashes and walks when they're trying to reclaim stage space because they don't want to just try and take it all back and then crash into another back air. Yeah. But not every fox plays it like that, which is also why a lot of foxes get uh, they get chill grabbed and up they're arrested. Yep. Sad day for space animals. They get bopped. Some they get bopped. Yep. I mean, Fox is a very, very free character. You can play him in a lot of different ways. <laughs> in some ways, he, if you want to know what kind of player someone is, watch their Fox, even if they don't have a Fox. That you is so true. You will see the way they think about the game by the way that they try and play Fox. Because he lets you do almost anything. So whatever someone chooses to do with him indicates really how they think the game is, should be played. Mm -hmm. I think that's... He's Mr. Melee. Yeah. Like, Falcon is, is the hero of Melee, <laughs> because everyone roots for the Falcon, but Fox represents to so many people what it means to play Melee with options and expression and all that. So we'll go into this match. Should be exciting. We have Harriet going up against Shroom, and Shroom does no slouch when it comes to the Space Animal matchup. Yeah. Uh, Shroom is just a very solid, uh, very good player overall, and I'm not, I'm not really familiar with Harriet. How's, how's his performance been, you know? Um, against Vector Man, he played... Darn near impeccably, really. He was playing with spacing, no rush. Um, I don't even remember any serious technical errors. As you can see, he's actually up on Shroom right now. Now, you never count out the results of a space animal match. You never phone it in because they're so comboable and capable, and they're so capable of getting big damage combos of their own. They're glass cannon, they're always exciting. So, this right here is a lead, but it's not a lead. Yeah, I see. on that. <laughs> it gives him a courtesy down smash. Let's see, this is actually something very common from Shroom, is he'll fight a space animal and he will be down at first, a lot of the time. Almost like 100% of the time he finds fights a really good spacey, he'll be down at first, but then he'll make some adaptations, adjust his gameplay, and at least even it out. Yeah. Ooh. And, ooh, burned his double jump somewhere and didn't realize it. Just a shame. You know what? Sometimes, just go hit him. Sometimes yeah. that's just what you do. It's just what the doctor ordered. Okay, I thought it was funny. <laughs> I don't teach me. It's okay. Smashers love puns. I actually I don't believe that's true. I've got well, I've gotten enough flack for for my pun loving well, nature. Okay. If, if they don't love puns, they there's a lot of Smashers that at least like to make puns. Okay, good enough. I'm one of them. Let's talk about the game. Mm -hmm. We have uh, once again, like you said, shrooms down on the first set. Harriet's playing it really smart. Just takes the edge, nothing fancy. He I didn't see a down B from Shroom there, surprisingly. One of the downsides of down B is that it just leaves you hanging there. And an invincible fox with ledge invincibility, free shine. Nice crouch cancel mm -hmm. tech. How do you even do that on reaction? Oh, I guess that back air? What a, that was a really smart short coming out from Harriet. He yeah, used a mid-range shorten, which is really tough to time. So he would specifically land on the platform and not get hit by something, a free follow-up in the middle of the stage. He did end up dying, but the edge guard position does lend a lot of strength to the edge guarder, so it's not a huge surprise. Alright, Katikio trying to keep him off the stage here. He's gotta fight against those pills. Oh, gets caught dodge. spot dodging. There we go. Oh, Oof. that was a, was a really bright choice to up smash at a shield. Doc's, Doc's up smash when you're grounded actually counts as a meteor smash. Does it? Yes. That's why when he up smashes you in the air, you go flying like it's a KO move. When you're on the ground, you have this insane hang time and go nowhere. It's as if uh, Falcon had down aired you from the ground. Yeah, I noticed that. It has a very similar hit stun on it. So when you're, when you're setting up spaces for something, if you up smash them on the ground, you actually get a much better follow-up than if you picked almost anything else. And... Ooh, Harriet going for that jab up smash. Trying it. 
He really wants that kill move. At the very least, he wants to get the kill and then build up percent in the next stock. But right now, Shrooms, he doesn't even care if he wins. He got 87% worth of extra credit. Yep. That's a whole, that's a B. And that's, that's basically a whole stock. It's really, really close. Getting a 3.0 GPA off of nothing but your extra credit is pretty solid. And right there, I think he wanted to grab, but couldn't convince his fingers to do it. He just ended up crouching and kind of hanging in there. Yep. Ooh. Ooh. Missed that, that down smash timing. punish. Right now, Harriet knows he needs to make something happen, but how's he supposed to? Like, he's... Shroom can play attrition. It's like, and oh. it's just throw out the move. Right there, he trades forward smash with neutral air. Great. Sweet deal. I'll make that trade. Like, a lot of what Shroom was doing was just saying, okay, I know you're really aggressive here. I know you're uh, you're technically capable. So what I'm going to do is hang back a little bit and use my priority on my forward smash, you know, my up air, my nair, to keep you out. Keep you from continuing your combo. Yep. Doc, Mario, Luigi, they're actually all fairly tricky to combo. Mm -hmm. If you get like a really nice meaty opener and you get to keep hitting them with back airs, then it's fine. But up throw up air doesn't work very well on them. Mm -hmm. And that's oh. the staple Fox combo. Yeah, it almost never works on them actually. Uh, you have to be very, very quick and uh, the Doc Mario, you know, has to not DI it correctly. Yeah. And you need a lot of precision if you want to hit them with wave shine up smash because they slide very far away. They have fast jabs, good down smashes to counter. They are, they can be surprisingly terrifying people for a Spacey to approach. Yeah, he's, he's a very unique matchup for Spacey's. I really like that empty hop from Shroom segueing into the platform combo. I think Harriet could have gotten out of that, but he would have had to DI that up air down and away. And you don't want to do that when you're at 100%. It just goes against your instincts. Shroom's yeah. totally ready on it. Look at this tech chase. Ooh. I think it's time that a bit too... I don't know if you timed it too late or... Oh. Ouch. Hate seeing that. Yeah. When you're in shield stun and you're sliding off the stage, if you try and wave dash at a shield, but you your jump animation comes out as you slide off the edge, it cancels the jump animation. Then you get the air dodge down and towards the edge, which is why when people are in their shields near the edge like that, especially slidey characters, you will see that happen to them a lot. That's how Fly Amanita lost to Amsa. was an air dodge exactly like that. Just today. Super good players, super slidey. All right, gets that edge guard. Yep. I think Shroom's got a handle on it. Yeah, it looks like uh, he has a handle on his style yeah. right now. Because Download complete more or less. You know, Harriet playing the spacing game, trying to abuse Fox priority as much as possible, play it safe. Nice jab up smash. Like he's trying to do it, but Shroom, Shroom knows how to deal with that. He knows how to deal with the risk takers. He's got, he's just got a ton of experience. Like California, big on spaces. He has a lot of practice against a lot of play styles. He knows the facts and he knows how to take risks a little. So when you're fighting someone that first, you just you got to find some way to get inside his head. And, uh, yeah, it becomes very difficult. It becomes yeah. less about the matchup and more about the player. Yeah. You aren't going to be able to fox Shroom to death. For that matter, when you have uh, when you have Mewtwo King, and he's you know somebody who could character you to death purely off attributes and position, he still prefers to play Sheik against Shroom. Yeah, he does. I, I notice he, he likes to play a lot of Fox, and uh, mostly Fox these days, but when he goes against Shroom, he does play Sheik. And that's the dunk. Yep. Up to suck to one. Yeah, as you can see, that height that he goes at mixed with his weights, all of that. Oh my goodness, is he gonna? <laughs> all right, I like that can that ledge cancel. Yep. Can he get something going here? He really needs to get something going. Yeah, he has some traction. Gets a nice shield stab with that neutral air. Doesn't go for any sort of an up smash yeah. out of shield. And now, under the pressure of being behind and Shroom to being inside of his head, Harriet is finally starting to make those tech errors that he wasn't making even a little bit against Vector Man. Yep. Oh, Ooh. really nice. Yeah, I'm digging that wave land. He knew he couldn't get the up throw up air. So he went for the platform of the wave land, refreshes jumps, and he is toast. Yep. That's going to be it. Ouch. Not how you want to go down. Yeah, he, he did start to catch on a little bit there, just a, a too yeah. late. Too late. But, yeah, he doesn't look happy. I mean, 
that's how Vector Man went down to him, got stuck under Battlefield.